Hey Salem, how y'all doing? I'm sitting here in my room with my kitty cat Salem. Just chilling out. She missed me when I was gone in three weeks. She pretty much hasn't left my side since. Ain't that right, babes? This is my kitty babes. Alright. Well, a couple updates. First off, a while back I did a video about uh, some trouble I had with T-Mobile and to refresh your memory here let's watch this I found out today that apparently I was supposed to answer some kind of email regarding the phone the person who sold me the phone never told me this here's the guy's name right here Jose Cosme C-O-S-M-E he was the guy who sold me the phone. Great guy at the time. I mean, he helped me out, got it going. Never said a word about me having to respond to an email. So, I told the guy at the store, I never got an email. I have no free tablet. I don't care about the service anymore. I want to just end it and go somewhere else and get it. But, uh, I don't know. I got to read my contract, see if I can get out of this stupid thing. What? Is it over? Oh. Are you taking a bath on my chest? Oh, really? She just hissed at me. <laughs> you silly kitty. All right. To give you an update on what happened, I went online, found the email address of the president of T-Mobile, sent him an email along with a link to the video I posted on YouTube. Within a week, I received an email from the a guy named Jason from the office of the president of T-Mobile, which I thought was kind of cool. Obviously, my email and video worked. So Jason was uh, very apologetic for what happened. And the bottom line is, I got a tablet. It's not the LG that I had wanted because they were out of LGs. And they said it would take about a month to get an LG. This is a Samsung, it's still a decent tablet, and it was, you know, still free, part of the deal. And I got it within like two days, so that was kind of cool. So, T-Mobile, appreciate your help, you did good. And I told them I'd post this up on a video for them, because I appreciate them going out and helping me get this problem resolved, which is basically all I wanted, was to have this problem resolved. And that just goes to show you how powerful a tool YouTube can be. In other news, me and Daniel went to see the movie Arrive today. More objects have landed around the world. This is one of 12. I'm never going to be able to speak their words. You got two days to figure something out. I am human. It's their language. We need to make sure that they understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. Language is messy and sometimes one can be both. Are you dreaming in their language? It's possible they're prodding us to fight among ourselves. This is just a way to force us to work together for once. It's more complicated than that. How is it more complicated? Russia just executed one of their own to keep their secret. We've got 21 hours before they start global war. So how do we clarify their intentions? I go back in. Why does this feel worse? Wow. It was an intense film. It was kind of slow, and I'll admit, in the beginning of it, I kind of passed out a little bit, kind of dozed off for a minute or two. But uh, the whole I'm not going to say anything about it because I don't want to have any spoilers in this video about the movie. But I'm going to tell you this. It's a movie that will make you think. It's you got to follow it close. And uh, you'll be surprised. And I loved it. I mean, I, the whole time I'm watching the film, I'm trying, you're trying to figure out what's going on. Things are happening that don't seem to be happening. And, and I mean, it was just amazing. And I really enjoyed it. And uh, when we left, I talked, we both talked to a, a uh, gentleman who, it was his second time he went to see it, because his first time he said he couldn't get it. Second time he went and saw it, he said he understood it. So, 
You may have to go see it more than once. I think I kind of get it. And I probably will see it again eventually. Just to get the full understanding. But it was a really, really good movie. And I suggest you go see it. Arrival. So in other events, I've decided to say no to Hulu. I've been having trouble streaming Hulu on my devices. And um, it's getting very annoying. It'll kick on and kick off like every five seconds and uh, be buffering for a long time. I just got sick of it. And it's not my devices or my network because Netflix works fine, um, Stars works fine, and I haven't had any other problem with any other things that I stream. One thing I've had problems with was Hulu. So I decided to <coughs> on Hulu. And in a related subject, I am now a member of Stars. Why? Mainly because Stars has one of the best programs I have seen in a long time. If you are a fan of Bruce Campbell and the Evil Dead movies, then you need to get stars because the original producers and actors have come back together and revamped the show. It's got Sam Raimi directing a lot of the episodes, some of the same writers, Bruce Campbell, like I said, is in it, and they continue the story. It's a weekly series on stars. It's a half hour long. And it's one of the most goriest, bloodiest, funniest shows I've seen in a long time. So check out Stars and check out Ash vs. Evil Dead. I think you'll like it. Oh. Say hi, Salem. Hi. Yeah, this is my Salem. She wanting more attention again. My fat pussy. She's so fat. Ain't you? Come here. Oh. There we go. So in the western part of the state, um, there's been some wildfires going on for a while. And uh, the consensus among the officials is that they were started on purpose, which is really stupid because they're causing unknown amount of damage, burning lots of uh, woodlands and some homes and things, and it's it's a real mess. Why anyone would want to start a fire in the woods is beyond me. I guess there's some pyromaniacs out there, but hopefully I'll get this all under control really soon. We've even had some of the smoke come all the way to Charlotte which has created some really amazing sunrises and sunsets. But uh, you can also smell it in the air and it's kind of nasty and disgusting. So, and if people have asthma, are having a hard time because of the particles in the air from the smoke. Who is this Mr. Burnett anyway? He's everyone who's a malicious woods burner. And one thing about him is certain, he must be stopped. You can help catch Mr. Burnett and bring him to justice. Be on the lookout for Mr. Burnett everywhere. Help Smokey Bear prevent forest fires in the South. Only you. So, I guess that's it for this time. So, until next time, Salem and I, we'll see you later. Say bye, Salem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Peace out.